We continue our discussion with the continuity and we look first the, to the definition of continuity. A function y is equal to fx that can be graphed throughout x domain with one continuous motion of the pen that is without lifting the pen is an example of continuous function. From the graph above, we can see that for the figure 1 and the figure 2, it is continuous since they can be drawn without lifting your pencil. And for the figure 3 and figure 4, are not continuous because of the breaks in the function. Now we look to the definition of continuity at a point. A function y is equal to fx is continuous at point C if and only if it meets all three of the following conditions. Number one, Fc exists, it means F is defined at C. And the number two, limit Fx when x equal to C exists, if and only if limit of Fx when x equal to C from right is equal to the limit of Fx when x equal to C from left. And the number three, the limit of fx when x approaches to c is equal to fc. Now, we look to the continuity at a point a, b, and c. From the uh, figure below, we can see that continuity at a point a is a continuity from the right, and continuity at a point b is continuity from the left, and the continuity at the point C is two-sided continuity. Conti continuity at an interval point. A function y is equal to fx is continuous at an interval point C of its domain if limit of fx when x approaches to C is equal to fc. And for the continuity at n endpoint, a function y is equal to fx is continuous at a right endpoint A of its domain if limit fx when x equals to A from right is equal to fa. And a function y is equal to fx is continuous at the left endpoint B of its domain if limit fx when x equals to B from left is equal to fb. And for the discontinuity at a point, if a function f is not continuous at a point c, we say that f is discontinuous at c and or c is a point of discontinuity of f. Now we look to the example 4. Discuss the continuity at the point one, at the point one, point two, and the point four. Limit of fx when x approaches to one does not exist. Or we can say that f is not continuous at x equal to 1. And now we look to the point B, sorry, we look to the point x equal to 2. At the point x equal to 2, <clears throat> we can see from the graph that 
F2 F2 is equal to 2 that means F defined at x equal to 2 <coughs> and the number 2 limit of fx when x approach to 2 from left 2 from left is equal to 1 and the limit of fx when x approach to 2 from right is equal to 1 from left is equal to 1 and from right is equal to 1 so since limit of fx when x approach to 2 from left is equal to the limit of fx when x approach to 2 from right so we can say that limit of fx when x approach to 2 is equal to 1 that means the limit exists at x equal to 2. And the number 3, since <coughs> limit of fx when x approach to 2 <coughs> is not equal to the f2 or the value of fx when x equal to 2 so we can say that f is not continuous at x equal to 2 and the last one we look to the at the point C at the, at the point x equal to 4 so at x equal to 4 the number 1 f4 f4 is equal to 1 that means f defined at x equal to 1 sorry x f defined at x equal to 4 And the number two, limit of fx when x approach to four from left is equal to one. And for our conclusion, since limit of fx when x approach to 4 from left is equal to f4 is equal to 1 so we can say that fx is continuous from left at x equal to 4. Now we continue with the example 5. Given that fx is equal to ax plus b 
for x less or equal to 1 and fx is equal to x squared minus 1 for x is greater than 1. If fx is continuous for all value of x, find the value of the constant a. If we look to the given function, the critical point to this function is only at x equal to 1. So, fx will be continuous on the on the entire real line if and only if limit of limit of fx when x approach to 1 from left must be equal to the limit of fx when x approach to 1 from right and must be equal to the fx when x equal to 1. So to solve this problem, we can choose uh, uh, any two of uh, these three equations. So if you look to the limit of fx when x approach to 1 from left, must be equal to the limit of fx when x equals to 1 from right. So, the limit of fx when x equals to 1 from left, so we, we must use the function of ax plus 5. So, limit of ax plus 5 when x approach to 1 from left must be equal to the limit of f uh, the limit of x square minus 1 when x approach to 1 from right so by substitution or by substitute x equal to 1 we have a times 1 plus 5 must be equal to 1 square minus 1. So, a times 1 is equal to a plus 5 is equal to 1 square is equal to 1 minus 1. So, a plus 5 is equal to 0. That means a is equal to negative 5.